Hello! Today we are going to make pop art burgers. I'm pretty excited about this. You guys are familiar with pop art if you've watched the little videos in our lesson plan. But there is a pop artist called Claus Oldenburg and he's a Swedish artist and he made enormous sculptures and they usually were a fast food. So you'll see in your instructions there's some pictures of his sculptures and um, we are going to take, we are going to be inspired by his sculptures and take the pop art approach of flat colors by using our construction paper to create these burger collages. So you have a bunch of different construction pieces of paper that are cut in half. Your sketchbook, your um, glue stick or glue, scissors and some markers and also a pencil. And what we're gonna do is we are going to take these pieces of paper and we're actually gonna fold them in half and draw what we want on our, um, draw half of what we want for our items of our burger. And so in on this piece of paper, this funny bread kind of paper, um, I folded it in half and we are going to cut it out such that this makes the base of our burger. Um, it, you are welcome to make your burger bun whatever shape you would like to do it. I obviously did that top, I did the top bun shape a little bit different than the bottom bun shape, but just you guys are familiar with folding things in half, and so now this shape looks pretty good. So we're going to build up. So the first step is going to be to do your bottom layer, which will be the bottom bun. And then you can add the burger. My burger is going to be brown. But what I would do is fold each individual piece in half first. So then you have a good idea of what you're going to do. I don't know if I'm going to include the purple. I can't decide if my onion should be purple or my onion should be white. So I have all of these pieces of paper now folded in half and I'm going to draw their shapes on them. So you guys just saw how I drew the burger. So the bottom bun had a little bit of a different shape than the top side of the bun. So I'm pretty much done with that piece of paper. But now I have the onion and the burger and the tomato and maybe my second purple onion. Um, these are all going to be that similar shape, like a U shape. So I'm going like a, here we go, just like that. That's how all of them are going to be. I like my tomatoes extra thick, so I'm gonna make him a little bit bigger. My burger is gonna be, I'm gonna like a little bit of a square or edge to my U. And then my other onion, I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. And maybe I'm gonna do two onion rings. All right. Now my lettuce, can I can get really creative with my lettuce, so I'm gonna make funny little wavy shapes. And I like lots of lettuce on my burger, so I'm gonna make several pieces of lettuce. There we go. All right, and then for my cheese, my cheese is gonna be different. My cheese is gonna be a triangle, a tall, skinny triangle. And who doesn't like a lot of cheese on their hamburgers? I do. All right, so now I have all of my shapes. So the tomato, the onion, the burger are all similar, that U shape, the green, the lettuce is this wavy shape, and my cheese is a triangle shape. And now, and since I've already cut out the bun, now I'm gonna cut out the rest. Now I have all of my shapes all cut out. And for the onion, now that I have my U, I'm actually going to cut inside the U such that my onion now is nice and thin. So let's see. Look, I have that. I think I'm gonna do it once again with the inside piece. 
right. I want to do the same thing with the um, white onion that I have. There's going to be lots of onions on my hamburger. And then you could do that for the tomato if you felt like it as well. Okay, we've cut out our shapes. I'm pretty happy with them. And now I'm going to add detail to each of my shapes. So I can color in with a green marker on the lettuce to make it look a little bit interesting. I can add the wedges to my tomato. I can add some additional detail to my burger. Of course, I can add my sesame seeds to my bun just to make it a little bit more interesting. One of the defining features of pop art is to have these flat colors, but that doesn't mean we can't layer on additional detail. So now I've added detail to my different pieces. I'm gonna add a couple more stripes to my, lemon, to my <laughs> onions, not lemons. Now um, I would like to do something fun in the background. As you can see from the beginnings of assembling this, I don't think there's gonna be a lot in the background, but um, in the instructions, you have that pow, or excuse me, that pop. And so I am going to make some bright stripes in the background, just so then that way my burger has that much more to stand out. And since I'm gonna sort of just do the outline or the back or the, like a frame in the piece of paper, because everything else is gonna be covered up. So we've cut out the shapes, we've decorated the shapes. Now we're working on establishing our background and you know, get a sense of how big your burger will be to see how much you're going to need to fill in your background, because I would like it all covered up. And the brighter the colors, the better. Pop artists often used primary colors to make their art really stand out. All right, so I have finished decorating my background and now comes the really fun part. I am going to assemble my burger. So we're gonna start with the bottom. So start with the bottom of your bun and put it down here. And we're not gluing it on yet because we're gonna figure out how we like it. I have two pieces of cheese and I really like it when my burger has a bunch of cheese on it. So I'm going to put a piece of cheese on first and then I'm going to put my burger and then I'm gonna put my second cheese, piece of cheese on the burger. I'm gonna make it turn a little bit. Ooh, let's see. So now I have my tomatoes, I have my lettuce and onion. Some more tomatoes. I like lots of stuff on my burgers. I have more onions and more lettuce. And if you want, you could you could make two different burgers, like two different patties, and layer it up. And then I'll top it with the bun. If you guys want to cut out some ketchup or mustard, you can do that too. So I'm pretty happy with the way that is. Maybe I'm gonna spread it out a little bit more to take up more of the page. So since I have a, now that I have a better understanding of where I want everything, now I can glue it. And maybe I'm going to make this, put the tomato and cheese underneath. So I'm gonna futz with it. And then once I have a good appreciation of where I want everything, then I am going to glue it. So then I will start down here and take my glue stick. And to make life easier, you can just do it on the paper, so then that way you don't have to move your pieces that much. So here we go, bottom burger fixed, or bottom bun. And I'm gonna do that, and then obviously share it on Flipgrid and tell me what part of the burger that you made would you not actually eat in real life, okay? Can't wait to see what you do.